Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab, and today I'm going to make a video about how to root tone step by step. So, to get things started immediately, uh, we've got our tone, uh, we've got our uh, Ketel adapter, as uh, they call it. Uh, it's an adapter that um, communicates with the boiler and also provides power to the tone. Uh, but of course we need to power up the tone uh, without it being inside the boiler circuitry and such. So uh, what you need is the ketel module and the power plug, the tone. Uh, I recommend you uh, remove the uh, green um, terminal block from your back plating uh, and two wires and a screwdriver. So uh, we first start by connecting um, the tone uh, yeah, to the ketel module. Uh, so grab wires, uh, make sure that you, that you strip the ends of them and just connect them to the block. Now there is no polarity, uh, so it doesn't matter uh, what goes where. Uh, so stick them in, screw them in and like that. And I grab the other end and to power the tone properly you need to plug them into the thermostat uh, port so the bottom port now I think my wire is a little bit too long so I'm going to cut them this is much better now twist them to make it easier to insert them make sure you've um, unlocked the screw Unscrew the, the screw to make sure you can able to be able to insert a uh, plug. Now just screw them in. As I said, it doesn't matter uh, which wire uh, goes where. So screw them in, and yeah, now you've set up your own power distribution for the tone. Uh, now you need to take a look at uh, the block because uh, you need to plug it in over here just like the back plating will do uh, and it goes in with the wire uh, screws facing downwards so just plug it on there and you can lay the tone flat now we are first going to do a uh, test to make sure it even works and to check which software version the tone has So grab your boiler module power plug and untangle it. All right. Now make sure to plug in the jack first. So this one into the side of your boiler module, and now it's safe to plug it into a outlet. You can hear the um, boiler module making a sound, uh, so it's providing power. And wait for the tone to uh, to boot up. So this is still a quick tone, as in no extra things. I mean, so you can see it better. This tone, uh, I think it still boots up reasonably quick. Uh, because of uh, the routing process a few other things will um, run in the background um, so they will slow the tone down so let's wait for the tone to boot up and I will be right back alright so the tone has been booted up and let's check the software version 4.19 Okay, so the tone is running it went into uh, sleeping mode and it says uh, connection with the boiler is lost which is okay since it's not connected here so remove the uh, adapter from the uh, wall outlet and just to make sure also remove the power plug now remove the green connection terminal 
from the tone which is a bit of a hassle but there you go put that aside and now we are going to open the tone uh, I'm first going to try it with my nails oh that's easy just put your fingernails in the corner and lift it up and also do it in the other corner and in this corner and in this corner now the first corner went back snap back into place remove it and there is your tone uh, make sure that you don't break this so to gain access to the tone itself uh, there are a few things that need to be removed and one of them is the screen so pick up the screen gently because there are uh, cables attached to the screen um, as you can see right here get yourself a tweezer now I'm looking for my, oh here it is get yourself a tweezer and push this to the cable so that way now you can remove it and the same goes for this but you can't do it at the same time since it's a bit larger so just push it like that and So just push this one like that. You can't do it at the same time because it's a little bit larger. And also gently pull this cable out. Now, if you removed your screen, make sure to be very careful of it and with it. Because uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's very fragile. Now, this is your tone, nothing less, nothing more. Uh, to remove the motherboard, which you uh, uh, need to do, you need to push uh, these um, towards the middle and you need to hold a screwdriver at those places so that the motherboard will um, not fall back which is uh, rather annoying so here too this one needs to be pushed a little further but eventually it will work and the last one in the corner and one just went back that is this one oh, all the way around so just gently push that one and lift the PCB up in the corner make sure you don't stick your screwdriver uh, in too deep and all the clips are popping back which is uh, annoying oh come on yeah you need to uh, give it a few tries sometimes sometimes the clips are very uh, difficult to overcome but I think we are here oh this one back as well nice um, ah there you go so now that you've loosened all the clips you need to pick up the board and make sure that you don't pull it out straight away because there are a few things connected to them so turn the tone around get your tweezer and pull the first uh, antenna wire off
otherwise you uh, risk breaking it and that is not what you want and it is a bit fragile and an annoying connector to remove maybe with a screwdriver you need to go under it and twist it up like that so now this one's loose and you need to be very careful about this one these two actually uh, you can pull the wires out a little bit so that the the strength on them isn't that great so now you've got your tone open and we are looking for a connector um, to interface with our JTAG interfacing device and that is this connector this is the JTAG port of the tone it connects to the CPU um, which we will be uh, using uh, and I've got the pin out of the interface and that is this. I will put the pinout of the interface uh, onto the screen uh, so that you can um, go along with me. Now we um, need a Altera USB blaster. Uh, you could also do this with a Raspberry Pi uh, but buying this is cheaper. So if you've got a Raspberry Pi laying around, fine. Uh, the instructions will be about the same. Uh, just connect the uh, pins uh, to the right pins on the Raspberry Pi and continue from there uh, so you need a USB blaster and you need 10 uh, jumper wires with a male to female um, connector for the USB for the serial, co serial connection of course now I recommend that you plug your serial device in first when you've connected your serial device uh, connect it to a USB uh, port and you should see a uh, light come on now go to your device manager and on screen this one go to ports and you see a USB serial port COM4 now open PuTTY uh, click on serial, enter COM4 and with the speed enter zero of, uh, with the speed enter 115200 press enter now uh, you don't see anything which is good since the tone is not powered up so in order to power up the tone grab your boiler module once again and the um, green block and uh, connect them to the two pins that are sticking around here so that you will be able to power the tone now as previously insert the power plug into the module first and then into the socket and you should see data starting to flow on the putty com port which is good so the tone is now booting, uh, that's very good and we are now uh, going to prepare uh, to actually route it. Uh, so grab another USB cable for the Altera USB blaster and connect it. So, you need to take a look at your bootloader version, it's on top of uh, the boot screen and we see that we have uh, 10.09R8 and that will correspond to a certain password that you uh, 
need to enter during the uh, boot process of the tone. So, do that. Uh, we don't need the GTAC connection at all. What you need to do is go to the link I'm going to put into the description. There you can view a brief overview of all the passwords uh, that uh, come uh, inside the bootloader. Um, so, copy them, copy the right password for your bootloader version onto your clipboard. And now, what you need to do is uh, unplug, oop, unplug the power connection from the uh, KTOL module. Uh, plug it back in and I oh shit the tone didn't like that or something so now that isn't working uh, we need to reset the tone once again so unplug it and replug it now Nice. Just right click uh, inside the PuTTY terminal and then it will paste the password. Uh, so now the uBoot uh, command prompt shows up, which is what we want. Um, so now that's good. And what you need to do now is uh, in the uBoot uh, issue the command print env let me let's print env it will uh, print all the settings uh, that are saved inside the tone inside the bootloader and uh, you need to make an edit uh, so what you need to do is copy the line that is inside the description and let me check if everything's good paste it and yeah that's good press enter so now we've edited a uh, boot uh, variable uh, which uh, should initialize uh, the comment prompts, the root comment prompts to be precise. And that is what we need in order to connect uh, and to make the changes uh, to root tone. So now uh, you can verify your settings that they are there and they are. Everything looks the same except the init thing has been added so that's good uh, now what we need to do is issue the run boot underscore nand so run boot underscore nand and press enter and now it's going to boot uh, as normal uh, so wait for the boot process to finish and right now you can see that we've gained a root shell which is what we want uh, we've got our shell uh, now the tone might be booting uh, might be still booting actually so I'm going to wait a little while just in case some data will be uh, put onto the terminal but I don't think there will be uh, so you need to edit a certain file to um, make sure that the tone will always boot with the root uh, console connected internally to the serial output of the tone. So that when things go massively wrong, um, you can just connect your uh, serial adapter to them and start over again with the rooting process, not with the tone. So, cool. Now you need to do a few things. Um, you need to find your uh, tone version, which we did. It was 4, 
uh, dot 19 dot something um, so you need to enter vi slash etc slash init tab press enter and you'll see a nice file uh, what you need to do is look for the hcbv2 static stuff um, which you need to edit uh, to edit a file in uh, v a editor that we need to use you need to press shift and i for insert and then it will go to insert mode and you can type into the file so again copy the line that the lines that are in the description place them press enter to make the file good and what's uh, important to do is to disable the open VPN uh, Tone will automatically start a VPN connection to uh, its mother uh, station so that updates uh, can be pushed out um, you can use the app to control your tone and uh, all those things so add a hashtag in front of the OVPN line and the file is saved as you will be able to see to get out of the file uh, simulcon Q and now you need to edit another file in order to um, make sure that you uh, can get in so vi etc pass vd and go to the root line the first line and change re uh, again change to insert mode now remove the disabled from the line and so that's removed now um, so press escape press the column double column button press enter now it's saved and uh, VI has exited insert the ethernet cable so we've got a connection And we need to install Bussy Box. So paste the comment I've put into the description and download Bussy Box. Oh, it's already there, but it's upgrading. So I'm not sure why Getty didn't work, but okay. Fair enough. And so now that is for the serial connection and the tone is able to be controlled over SSH and for that we need to download a package which again will be in the description called drop bear and so issue the same command except remove the link place replace the link so enter and it's going to start the installation and i'm not sure that this is working So, okay, now we need to enter the firewall settings. So go to the iptables.conf, enter, uh, make sure to get into insert mode. Um,
you need to remove some hashtags for port 22, port 80, and let's check the other one isn't there. Uh, okay. Cool. So press escape. Save it. Okay. And issue the command ifconfig and you can see the IP address. And you need to connect to, uh, you need to open another party configuration, party session. And hopefully, uh, network connection review. Oh wait, we need to restart the Yeah, we need to restart the firewall. Uh, okay, cool. Firstly, we need to do another thing. Edit the slash hc slash hosts file. And insert mode. Add this line. Save it. Okay, and now we're not going to ping because that didn't work very good last time. Okay. All right, restart the IP tables and start to drop there. That sucks. <laughs>
that's good. Okay, we need to press the reset button. And boot it again. And now everything should start working. It's found the Ethernet connection. There you, there you go, there you go, there you go. And echo tone by Q, we enter root. Hey. There you go. So, um, we're going to reinstall drop bear. Installing drop bear. Uh, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. So it's updating everything. Uh, so yeah. This uh, could take a while.
All right, cool. So drop bear is configured. Issue the IF config again. So we can see the IP and enter the IP in the IP address field. Press enter. Network connection refused. That's not good. That's also not a good file. Uh, I'm forgetting something. Ah. That's right. I'm not sure why it's not really working. Because Start drop bear. Okay, and we do start. Starting drop bear, SSH server generating key. This may take a while. That's what we need. So there you go, that's the key. Um, you might want to save it. I don't save it. So again, open a new putty window and now enter the same IP and we now should be able to connect. So click yes, log in as root. Password, enter, access denied. We don't have a password, man. I think that's an issue. I think that we need to have a password in order to connect to per SSH. So to change the password, type pass wd root and enter a new password. Now, with that password, if we connect to the tone via SSH and enter that password, there you go. We've got an SSH connection to the tone. That's all you need. Basically. So after you've rooted your tone with or without the um, JTAG interface, you need to, of course, disconnect everything. Um, so let's start with the block. Now we need to keep the Ethernet interface connected since the, my tone, this tone uh, doesn't know my Wi-Fi settings. So remove all the cables, of course remove the inter internet plug, but we'll, we, we will attach that later. Now, since you've um, disconnected a antenna during the, uh, during the opening process of the tone, you'll need to reconnect that antenna. And you need to make sure that the wires will go onto the right spot so grab that antenna wire and get your tweezers it's going to be a very tedious process so align it with the connector and press on it so now the antenna is uh, connected again now 
gently place the board inside its uh, onto its proper clips and guide the wires inside there um, yeah kind of clips like that and like that so that's okay now gently press I need to align it a little bit better okay, you need to ah, you need to lift it in like that now gently press down so that you hear some clicks you need to be very careful of course since putting too much force onto the board may damage the board and that's not what we want uh, this one is not in the right position like that that's better sometimes you need to help them a little so cool now grab your screen because yeah we removed the screen and now it's time to connect it again align your screen and the wires of the screen and gently insert them into the connector and push the bar inside connector like that now the screen wire should be in and do the same for the touch screen wire which is a, there you go insert it pull the tab and now gently Place the screen back on its standoffs like that. Now you could um, choose to place back the bezel already, but I won't do that since if there's a problem, I need to uh, remove it. And that's yeah. Before we boot the tone, connect the Ethernet cable to it and insert the plug into the um, boiler module I don't think that the screen is connected properly because there is no image Again, remove the connector. Insert it. Pull the tap. Like that. And reconnect the power plug.
Oh, I know what's happening. As you can see down there, the reset button is not properly aligned with the hole like that. So the stone stays in reset mode. There you go. Oh, it gave me a heart attack. So you need to make sure that the reset button is not uh, held down by the case and uh, wait for the tone to boot up and enter the IP address 83 press enter and we might be too quick not sure. No, there you go. Login as root. Enter your password. Press enter. And there you go. Enter VI again. So we're going to do something else first. So enter config file. Oh, no. And config. Like that. Now um, go to the visibility and change the end date to minus. Oh, insert mode, forgot it. Change the end date to minus one. Minus one and you can enable or disable options here. Um, so let's check e display. If you got solar panels, you can display solar panel here gas display yeah so now cool that's done press escape press WQ that is one what we need to do in order to um, properly configure the tone route is download a script so in your SH connection Enter a few parameters. Ah, shit. We need to install a different we get version first. That includes SSL. And for that, we of course need to install lib ssl first and then install wget and now we can wget the oh wait that's the wrong now we can wget this okay cool we need the no check certificate parameter and we need to make it executable and run it so cool uh, so we are running 4.19.10 uh, so we need to exit out and use the dash f Parameter. So now it will install all the required um, programs and packages such as Tone Store. Uh, Tone Store will, uh, will be used to install new apps uh, so you can expand the uh, functionality of your tone. And this script will um, also 
update uh, tone if there is an update and uh, it installs a uh, program that allows you to configure uh, certain settings on your tone disabling them to make sure that um, the tone is responding much better so whilst this is running I um, suggest we place back the bezel now there is an orientation you need to just see um, if it allows you to push it down on the screen and if it doesn't you need to flip it so while we're waiting for tone to update we can check out everything now there uh, we haven't rebooted yet after changing some parameters of the tone but we can already see that if we try to open the gas usage apps and the power usage apps they don't really do anything there is no uh, gas or power usage app in here so you can't view uh, those um, usage histories because that's for um, tone users who uh, have an Eneco um, subscription so it also installs uh, X11 VNC that allows you to um, actually have a interactive uh, screen like TeamViewer uh, thing session with your tone you can control it um, so that's good now everything is installed well the script says it is now we are going to into the settings and into the software and then restart tone and we should um, be kicked off the SH session there you go so close it and already open a new party window enter the correct IP for it and if you don't have the latest version um, of your tone firmware installed just enter the um, latest firmware version number it will install all the necessary things uh, and make sure that you don't lose your root uh, but before you do that please keep an eye on to the forum because uh, I with my own tone state of version 4.19.10 for a while since uh, Tone decided or QE decided to completely change the way uh, the apps uh, work uh, so all apps are packed into a uh, resource file now not the individual uh, .qml files that they were uh, using uh, and that was uh, not implemented yet but it is now so that is good and wait for the tone to reboot we can try to there you go enter sh now please note that the x11 vnc um, server is running um, unencrypted no certificates no passwords uh, so please don't forward it uh, from your router because then everyone will be able to control your tone and that's not fun not fun at all so the tone should be done by about now I think there you go so it says no connection between the boiler module and the uh, boiler which is okay since there's no boiler attached and as you can see there is a new icon here at the top a little store icon that's tone store uh, you can install various apps for your tone uh, to expand the usability Philips Hue found not yet I don't have a Philips Hue light so not sure where it's getting that from so as you can see there are a lot more options right now you are able to see gas uses history apps loading 
there you go and power usage and there should also be a app somewhere TSC there you go that allows you to disable or enable certain tone uh, features so uh, it will free uh, memory so uh, let's check and I go customer service, what's that? Oh, that's probably tone support. We don't need that. We don't need what is tone. Uh, settings. CS. This one. This one. Benchmarking against other users. Yeah. So, save and restart the GUI. Now, the memory usage is a big uh, thing on the tone because it runs out of memory rather quickly. And yeah, it's it's not disabling some of the apps makes the tone feel way smoother. So, uh, it's a good thing to do. So, cool. Enter the, oh yeah, there you go, that's much better. Way, way less apps. We still have all the graphs. So, yeah. You know, we don't need some of the apps and some of the apps don't even work uh, let's, where's the boiler, here you go yeah there's no, you need an internet connection for this as well so status that's uh, power usage so this is your tone, it's now fully rooted um, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. You can customize it however you want. Um, the community is slowly building, so uh, please feel free to take a look and uh, let me know uh, if you've got anything else. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video interesting, and uh, see you later. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.